Greetings, everyone. Jim here. These tornadoes of uh, Friday night into Saturday morning, today being Saturday, December 11th, through Kentucky, Arkansas, Missouri, the Mid-South, you could say, have caused substantial damage and, as of yet, an, un an indeterminate amount of uh, loss of life and injury. Um, now, Reed Timmer tweeted... Massive mesocyclone with a wedge tornado below approaching Haiti, Missouri. And that's this image right here that he took. I can lift that up for you. Anyway, he went on to say that this is the longest track tornado I, have, I being him, have ever chased. This is the longest track tornado that I, him, have ever chased. And he's chased a lot of tornadoes, but could not keep up with it across the four states. More tornado warnings in western Tennessee. And we have this situation now with uh, multiple people being trapped in an Amazon warehouse in Evansville, Illinois, due to a roof collapse uh, because of a tornado. Um, some people have been rescued, but there could be another 50 to 100 people trapped inside there. And by the time you see this video, folks, things may have changed. This, this is a developing situation uh, dozens of workers trapped in there. You've had, um, there's been reports of a Walmart facility that was in the path of one of these, uh, one of these tornadoes. Um, and I've got news mixed in here with other news. Uh, we've got wars and rumors of wars, tornadoes. Uh, you know, we've got uh, Marf Fugel. You know about Marf, uh, Adam. Uh, he, he does some great work on YouTube and on his website. And he's saying, think about this. The entire world is pushing people to inject something into their bodies. Life is very surreal right now. Well, Marf, you are exactly right, my friend. Life is very surreal right now. Um, reports of a plane that has crashed into the Merrimack River in Bedford, New Hampshire. This is Saturday morning, folks, with these tornadoes. Uh, here's another image of a, of, of a tornado near Jonesboro, Arkansas. I guess the point I'm trying to make here, folks, tornadoes happen. They occur. They are a naturally occurring uh, phenomena, especially in that area of, of the U.S. They occur. I need a sip of coffee. Um, but there is something not right about this. There is something supernatural about this. And I, I woke up this morning at about uh, 1.30 a.m. with this feeling. I woke up and, and, I, and I felt like I personally had been attacked. I, I felt there's a prayer that I pray every morning when I get up. It, it's uh, a, a series of scriptures that I pray. I could not remember them. It's like something had wiped them from my mind. It was terrible. And I've been asking Jesus to help me to recapture all of this. Something supernatural has occurred here. Whether it's it, it's it's geoengineering or something deeper, and I and I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. While these tornadoes are naturally occurring events, especially in that part of the country, something very supernatural has occurred and is occurring here right now. And I would ask you to pray for the people that have been impacted, the families of those who may have been lost. Pray for your own protection. Seek the face and the grace of Jesus right now. Time is running short, folks. Time is drawing, drawing it is speeding up. Events are moving fast all around the world. And again, as far as these tornadoes are concerned, this is a story that is that is going to continue to develop throughout the weekend. Pray and seek the face and grace of Jesus, folks. I, I implore you, please. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.